This is John Groves coming to you from my home studio. For today's Bible talk, I have selected the theme of Advent. Yes, this is the season celebrated between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Common to many faith traditions is the lighting of the Advent wreath. What is the true meaning of Advent? It comes from a compound Latin word. Ad is a preposition which means to or at, and venire is a verb which means come. Superficially, Advent signifies the coming of Christmas. But what are we to understand about the season of Advent and how we should observe it? The biblical source for the observance of Christmas has its origins in a prophetic statement in the book of Isaiah. The Lord instructs Isaiah to visit King Ahaz, the king of Judah. Ahaz was perturbed because he was privy to rumors that several of the neighboring kingdoms were preparing to invade and take over Judah. Isaiah tells Ahaz that a young woman was to conceive a child, give birth, and name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. This child was going to eat curds and honey once he learned the difference between good and evil. Further, the planned invasion was not going to materialize. There are many more details given as part of this prophecy. Much later, the writer of the Gospel of Matthew appropriated this sign and reported how Mary was to conceive through the work of the Holy Spirit and deliver baby Jesus. An angel of the Lord passed on this message to Mary's betrothed, Joseph, in a dream, so he would not be alarmed and decide to abandon her. From there, the story proceeds to the birth of Jesus in a manger and the visits of the shepherds, as reported in the Gospel of Luke, and the visit of the wise men in the Gospel of Matthew. There's a slight inconsistency in the merging of these accounts in that the baby was named Jesus and not Emmanuel. But that did not deter the gospel writers and later Christian theologians from identifying the two traditions as fully consistent. What perhaps helped color our Christian nativity story was the translation of the Hebrew word Alma, meaning young woman, into the Greek term Parthenos, meaning virgin in the Septuagint. Had a different word been used, then perhaps the story of the virgin mirth might not have materialized. The important feature for us, though, is the waiting emphasized for the season of Advent. During this season, we need to prepare for the arrival of the baby Jesus. Yes, Christmas has become a season of giving and receiving presents as manifestations of our love and affection for our families and friends. And just as we wait for Christmas for the opening of our presents, the waiting must be purposeful and not a time for fret and agitation. Charles Fillmore denotes Christmas as a time when we can move toward spiritual consciousness and away from material concerns. This, this seems ironic given that so many material presents are exchanged on this day. But we can perhaps look again at our traditions and explore with open hearts what it means to love and be loved. If we can work out some of these details for ourselves, then the season of Advent will indeed find its fulfillment for us. Until next time, it's John Groves signing off.